Ethan Lucido and a classmate sacrificed many recesses at school for coding and building. Ethan codes, Danny Disser is the engineer, he builds. And together they created something so unique it became the center of a popular tweet. Andy Wall, the boy's innovation teacher, tweeted about this. Ethan calls it the hologram smart table. All the attention led to this video that accompanied a podcast by METC, the Midwest Education Technology Community. Now I'm in like a podcast of TV show now. That would be this one for HEC. If you build it, they will come. I think I know what if you build it, he will come means. The movie Field of Dreams seems to apply. Unbelievable. Only within these cornfields in the Orchard Farm farming community, Ethan and Danny prove that even in fifth grade, now going into sixth grade, they can build something that is people wanting to not only see it, but learn how to build it too. What is 32 plus nine? Thing on the bottom is a smart table. On top here is a little hologram projector. You need four of anything on four sides of it. It will put a hologram of what looks like a hologram up into the prism, which is made of flexi glass. You see collaboration among graduate students working in a lab or among entrepreneurs in an incubator for startups. Some even use existing technology for an idea for a new product. That's what got Andy Wall thinking. Wall is the one who had a rough idea, starting with an old smart table. The boys and I cleaned it up and it was very dusty. It had been sitting for years. Um, I talked to some of the teachers that had used it and they thought it was cool, but it wasn't like as engaging as they had hoped and so they kind of just got rid of it. We were looking at it and we were like, well what can we do, you know, and they wanted to turn it into like a full arcade table. So I told them, if we can find something educational to do with it, then once we do that, then we can switch it and make it an arcade and we can play video games because that's, that's what they wanted to do anyways. He says the boys are really the ones behind the innovation. I, I prodded, I pushed, I, I don't think I, I can't take the credit though. Looking online and I saw the little cell phone holograms that you could make out of a CD case and I showed it to the boys and, and we kind of all like looked over at the smart table and we're like, hmm, I wonder. We built this one because the the other one didn't work as well whenever we were trying to like touch the screen. Danny was what we call our engineer, so he did all the building and the cutting. So he had to measure the plexiglass pieces and then cut them out and Ethan was our digital builder, if, if you will. Ethan used the Scratch website for coding. Scratch is a programming language that is built by some guys from MIT. They're uh, kind of like the gold standard of block coding, which is using blocks, you know, like Legos almost, to put together things to build a code instead of using like a, a text language, like a JavaScript. I made a code like this. It was a math code for kindergartners. And then, um, we had a podcast, and now I made a second code, and we have this now. Wall says this has the educational value of flashcards, only more engaging. This whole new thing that I don't think most kids have ever seen that, um, except in movies, you know, like Iron Man or something like that. They are sharing their code and design for anyone with smart tables, and Ethan is spending time in a summer STEM camp making improvements. This time I use sharks instead of the scratch cats. Then we have cardboard covered in paper because the paper will not touch as much. We can continue to work on this smart table until it's something you know, even more amazing or at least more complete. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.